Hey guys, it's Wendy here back today. Well, it's already December and only one month left until a new year starts. I hope you guys spent a blast December. Well, you guys have probably heard a lot of times about oil and water balance. We've mentioned it in a lot of our videos previously, and you also hear this word oil and water balance when you go and buy cosmetics or any skincare products. So you've probably wondered what on earth is oil and water balance? Well, you've heard a lot about this word, but we thought you guys might be not fully aware of what oil and water balance Balances. That is why we're here today to not only explain to you the definition of oil and water balance, but also why is it important to keep that balance. And we also prepared a checklist so that you guys can check whether your oil and water balance on your skin is balanced right. And don't miss our skincare tips to keep the perfect oil and water balance on your skin. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So let's start with what is oil and water balance? Well, oil and water balance is an ideal state described by a balanced presence between oil and water on our skin. Oil actually refers to the sebum that is produced at our sebaceous glands, while water can be described as the sweat that is produced from the glands. Sebum and sweat acts as a thin shield on the layer of our skin, which actually helps our skin to have a healthy state. So what actually ideal oil and water balance means, it doesn't mean the ratio between the oil and water, but instead it refers to the state of our skin that neither of these factors are lacking. Well, if our skin is dehydrated, it makes our skin very flaky. And when our skin is dry and also when it lacks oil, it becomes sensitive and it's really easy to get irritated because the protective layer of our skin becomes very weak. So above all, more than anything, it's so important to give the proper care to our skin to keep the right balance between the oil and water on our skin. If this balance is disrupted, it will affect our skin in the form of dry, itchiness, tightness, flakiness, redness, and also acne and more. Now that we have introduced what the definition of oil and water balance is, now it's time to check whether your skin lacks oil or water or even both. So listen carefully to the checklist and see what type of skin types you have. So first, we're gonna start with the checklist that falls under the dehydrated skin type, which is the skin type that lacks water level on your skin. So listen carefully and see if you fall under the skin type. First, my T-zone gets visibly oily, especially by the afternoon. Second, dryness in some areas of the face, like areas around the eyes, mouth, and even different parts of the skin appear. Third, I can see the persistent dullness of my skin despite the presence of oil on my face. Fourth is I have frequent acne and also pimples. Fifth is I have a thicker skin but it's accompanied by visible pores. In this case, your skin may lack in water content but there is still a presence of oil on your skin but you still have this persisting dry and tight feeling from your skin from deep within. And in order to protect the skin, the skin itself produces a large amount of sebum. So in this case, you should not try to get rid of the oiliness on your skin, but rather try concentrating on moisturizing your skin from deep within to control the sebum level on your face and ultimately moisturize your skin, which will increase the water level of your skin. Now moving on to the checklist that lacks oil level on their skin, so listen carefully again. The first checklist, I have dull and rough skin. Second, my makeup doesn't apply well or it emphasizes my flakiness. Third will be, even though I apply a great amount of toner and lotion, it feels like it's just not enough. Fourth is, the feeling of tight dryness after cleansing always takes place. Fifth is redness actually appears easily on my skin. So if you fall under these checklists, there's a possibility that you're leaned to a skin type that lacks oil. And for this skin type that lacks oil level on your skin, it's really easy that your skin turns into a rough skin because it cannot form a protective layer onto your skin, which will help to prevent your moisture 
drying off from your skin. So in this case, it's very, very important to nourish the skin to fill the oil level on your face, which will definitely help you form a protective layer onto your face. Now moving on to the third skin type, which not only lacks water or oil, but lacks both water and oil on their face. So listen carefully. First checklist is, I have many wrinkles in areas, especially around the eyes and mouth. Second is, I can see flakiness arising, especially with the occasional formation of dry patches. And the third is, exfoliation causes irritation on my skin. The fourth is, when I apply moisturizer, it actually absorbs into my skin too soon. Fifth will be, my skin is defined as dullness or redness. So if you fall under most of these checklists, there's a possibility that you lack both oil and water on your face. Now that you have finished your checklist to check the balance between the oil and water on your face, now it's time for us to introduce you to how to take care of your skin to give you the perfect balance of oil and water. And we're gonna explain to you according to different skin types, so let's start. So starting with the very first skin type is the dehydrated skin types that are crying for moisture. So for these type of skin types, it's very important to get rid of the oiliness on your skin and overproduction of sebum by adding moisture onto your skin. So there are three points that you have to remember when giving skincare on your face and the very first, exfoliate your skin, but remember that make sure not to dry out your skin when you exfoliate your skin. Usually for dehydrated skin types, the feeling of dry tightness from deep within, this is actually caused because of the built up dead skin cell on your face. That is why it's super important to give the right exfoliation, but without losing any moisture. So the product we would like to recommend you to is the first Claire's Gentle Black Sugar Facial Polish. This is actually a great exfoliating scrub. It also leaves like dry and sensitive skin types with a hydrated finish, but also because the scrub helps to get rid of the dead skin cells on your face in the pores, it'll actually help you to have a very smooth texture of your face. And also it helps to remove blackheads, so it's a perfect product. And the second skincare tip for dehydrated skin types to keep the perfect oil and water balance is never, never do double cleansing. Well, it's because double cleansing will make your skin even more dry because it'll just get rid of the skin's protective layer of the oil. And considering this cleansing factor, we would love to recommend you a product and it's Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser. We've introduced this a lot of times, but this will leave your skin hydrated and it won't also take away the necessary moisture on your face. This cleansing foam leaves your skin very hydrated after using it because thanks to the ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, ceramide 3, and olive oil. Because this is a very low pH cleanser, it really helps your skin to not be irritated and be in a sub-acid condition. So it's actually also great to keep the oil and water balance of your skin. That is why we want to recommend this product to those of you who wants to have a hydrated finish of your skin without feeling any dryness. And because it includes an ingredient that can mildly exfoliate your skin, this will be also a great product to exfoliate mildly. Tip number three is use a fresh and light texture products. That is why we recommend you to use essence, lotions, or gel type products. That is why we would love to recommend this product, Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Serum, which actually moisturizes your skin from deep within. This gel type serum hydrates your skin from deep within and it's just perfect to keep the oil and water balance of your skin. As it hydrates your skin, it also cools the heat on your skin from deep within with the cooling effect it has. And as the name says, it's a soothing serum, so it really helps to soothe your skin and just make your skin calm down when it's irritated because of dryness and dehydration. And for the cream, we would like to recommend I'm From Vitamin Tree Water Gel. It's an oil-free product that has a very light texture and it's also a gel-like texture so it also has a very cooling effect when you apply it on your skin. But what I love about this is that it's first of all fragrance-free and also it doesn't really leave your skin greasy after using the product. And we would love to recommend this product to those of you who feel that like your skin is still oily even you apply a very lightweight product. This product won't leave your skin greasy at all because it has a very light texture. 
And the best part about this product is that instantly when you apply this product, you can feel the cooling effect on your skin. So now that we have looked into the dehydrated skin types that lacks the water level on your skin, let's move on to the second skin type, which is a skin type that lacks oil. So for these skin types, it's really important to repair the weakened protective barrier of your skin by filling in the oil content on your skin. And again, there are three types to take care of your skin. And the first is using a moisturizer that is rich in oil. So try adding oil onto your skin by using lotion, cream, and balm type products. And again, product recommendations. First, we recommend I'm from Honey Cream, which has a honey extract and also plant-based oil ingredient in it. And I love the texture because it's very thick and it's also very luscious that if you use it, you can just instantly feel that your oil content is being filled on your skin. The nutrient-rich ingredients that are included in this product really moisturizes your skin from deep within and also it really repairs your skin by strengthening the skin barrier. And it protects our skin by repairing the skin's protective outer barrier. And what I also love about this product that it just gets rid of all the flakiness of your skin and it leaves your skin soft glow finish. And once you use it, you can feel that your skin is fully hydrated. Now moving on to the second tip is using the oils to improve the oil balance of your skin. And make heat, make mild heat with using your hands and then apply your oil by using the natural heat generated on your hands to apply the oil all over your face. Mix it with lotion products or cream products with the oil and apply it on your face. We recommend to mix the lotion to oil in the ratio of one to one or two to one mix oil with your skincare products. You can replenish the oil on your skin by mixing oil with your skincare products and this will definitely help you to improve the oil level on your skin. And the third way to give skincare to those skin types which lacks oil, we definitely recommend you to use cleansing oil rather than just normal cleansing water. And we recommend you Clarish Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil when you cleanse your face. So for those skin types that lack oil content on their face, it's much better to use cleansing oil products than just cleansing water or cleansing foam products to bring back the oil level on your face. So what's really great about this cleansing oil is that the natural oil ingredients, it has really helps to soothe your skin as you cleanse your face. Plus, it also helps to regulate the sebum production of your face. That is why a lot of people call this oil an oil that does skincare and cleansing at the same time. And the texture of this oil is of course very mild and soft, but it's really easy to rinse it off with water. So that's why I find it really comfortable as well. And the hydrating formula in this oil really helps to give that moisturized finish onto your skin after using this oil. And when you use Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil, we definitely recommend you to use it with our Claire's Charcoal Soap because these two work super well together. So when your skin is left with a lack of oil state for a long time, it actually increases the evaporation of skin's moisture. And this will definitely lead to the lack of water balance as well. Because when you lack oil on your skin, your skin's barrier, your overall skin's barrier has become weakened. So it's very important to soothe your skin that has become irritated. Now let's move on to the final skin type. It is the skin type that lacks both oil and water level on your skin. So it's very important to give care to moisturize your skin from deep within, but also it's important to form a protective layer of oil on the outer part of your skin. So for the product recommendation, we recommend our newly launched by Wishtrend Vitamin 75 Maximizing Cream. This really absorbs quickly onto your skin. It applies very well. And as the name says, it has 75% of vitamin E, which is great to just moisturize your skin from deep within and it leaves your skin to have the right amount of oil layer onto your skin. The ingredient it has, which is 75% of seed buckthorn oil, this is great, not only because it just improves the absorption rate on your skin, but also it helps to even out your skin tone, making your skin tone brighter as well. Eunice also mentioned it in the previous video that it's really great. If you want to maximize the effect, it's great to use it together with By Wish Trend C21.5 Vitamin Serum. And even if you have normal skin types and you don't have dry or dehydrated skin, we definitely still recommend you using this product if you want to still maintain the oil and water balance. 
So that was it for introducing the tips to maintain oil and water balance on your skin and also with some product recommendations. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try all these tips and also some of the great products that will definitely help you to keep the good balance between the oil and water on your face. So if you have any ideas or if you're curious about any topic related to skincare and beauty, please leave it in the comments below. And in most countries, we are probably sure that it's going through a very dry season and it's also same here in Korea. So I think that's why we have a lot of questions and requests about making a video about moisturizers according to different skin types. So that is why we are right now actually working on the video to pick the perfect moisturizer according to different skin types. So I hope you guys keep tuning in. All of our Wushan staffs are working super hard to put all the information right in the parts for you guys so keep tuning in and make sure to subscribe to our channel and if you like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and also leave in the comments for next video ideas or any other questions about skincare products and beauty related products i'll see you guys next time bye